Super Row backpack for the pint. A couple things to highlight with this bag. It's made specifically for the pint. The upside to that is it fits nice and snug. It's a good fit for the pint. Downside is you're not, if you have an XR or a Plus that you want to use, um, you're not going to be able to use this bag for that purpose. The Super Row backpack has the backpack type straps so you can carry it around like a backpack. It distributes the weight of the one wheel pint um, for more comfortable transportation. It has added PVC layer support in the spine of the bag for increased comfort and portability. It has this nice handle here, this charcoal type fabric. It's got a hydrophobic treatment so it's water resistant. It folds up nicely so you can put it into the fanny pack that it comes with um, so that let's say you carry this to a destination you don't want to keep wearing this bag while you're riding you can fold up the bag put it in a fanny pack and then that fanny pack you can wear while you're riding so i just want to give you guys a little up close look at this bag show you some of the pockets this pocket here i've put the charger and i love this it's a nice touch but look at how it closes so nicely to hide that zipper here you can unzip this and you can expand that to allow for more room there for the board compartment. So I mean, you can tell this isn't their first time making a bag. Very well thought out. I love the zippers. It feels very durable. You got the extra reinforcement. And uh, I love how that just hides the zipper there. I've never actually seen that before in a bag. Again, the bag will fold up nice and compact so that you can put it into the fanny pack while you're riding. The other thing I want to talk about from Craft and Ride is this here. This is the first ever stance specific concave foot pad for the one wheel pint. It's the one tail extreme and when it says stance specific when you order this you need to make sure if you ride goofy that you get the goofy one. If you ride regular you get the regular one. You can see it's taller on one side than on the other and that's what makes this stance specific. Some of the drawbacks to it though is if someone wants to ride your board and they prefer goofy then it may be difficult for them to get used to. This one's de designed for a regular rider. If you get the goofy one that's de designed for a goofy rider and they're not interchangeable. You can see here also that the grip tape is very aggressive. It's a very aggressive grip. So I'm gonna put this on and we're gonna see how this goes. One of the issues that I do see with this is I share my board with my son and he rides goofy, I ride regular. So I can see that that will already be an issue. But I do see why they did that just because it's did the stance specific foot pad just because you can't make a very aggressive concave shape that fits both goofy and regular just because it's a such a small foot pad that you're working with. Craft and Ride One Tail Extreme Concave Foot Pad for the one wheel pint. This is the regular version and not the goofy version. So you can see it's, a, it's higher on one end, on the toe side, than it is on the heel side. But before we get into testing that, I wanna talk about, I wanna quickly install this other product here. This is by Jeff McCosker in the Float Life. This is his float plate for the one wheel pint that comes with the handle in the front, the nose handle, and then you've got little curved covers to help protect what actually gets scraped up the most when I ride. I don't do a ton of tricks and so actually the bottom of my board doesn't get scraped up because I'm not doing rail slides or anything like that. But you can see how this will fit like so. It does have some adhesive that it needs to stick to. So anytime you're going to be adhering tape onto a surface, you want to make sure it's clean. So I'm going to just spray it with a little alcohol, a little isopropyl alcohol. So a couple instructions, do not over, over tighten screws, peel backing from adhesive on rear. This is probably the hardest part of the whole process. 
Now when we put it on, we're not going to push down until we have the screws in. Remove and replace the four long screws with the included long screws. Remove and replace the two short screws with the included screws. After installing, press down hard on the rear float plate to secure adhesive. Okay. So with this grip, you don't have that much distance to put your fingers in. I mean, I don't have huge hands, but I can I can put basically half of my fingertip from that first knuckle to the tip of my fingers. I can put about half of my fingers in there. So can you see that? So this handle here on this float plate, I mean, it's nice for picking it up just quickly, but you're never going to want to hold it this way for long distances. You can see I can barely get my fingers in there. It is handy to pick it up and to lean it up against walls and whatnot, but in terms of picking it up for long distances, you're not going to want to use this. So let's go ahead and get some safety gear on and go give this guy a test ride. You can see the foot plate there. with its concave shape, more so on the toe side for regular riders than on the heel side. The One Tail Extreme concave foot pad for the One Wheel Pint by Craft and Ride is made of wood and so it's lighter. It has the nice concavity and it also has this slope from toe side to heel side which gives a new sensation for your back foot. But remember, it is stance specific. Remember Josh from my previous video? Well, I let him use the pint. And I didn't tell him about this back foot pad being stance specific. His words, there's something wrong with that back foot pad. He didn't like it. And rightly so, because he rides goofy. If you share your board with someone who has a different riding orientation than you, then this foot pad just won't work. Conversely, if you don't want to share your board because it's your board and you don't want other people riding it, then this will give you another excuse to say, hey, you can't ride my board because this foot pad, it's custom to me. As for the solo float plate underneath the board, I thought it was wonderful. The OG style handle cut out at the front makes picking up the one wheel super easy and familiar, just like I'm used to from my one wheel plus and my one wheel XR. The material is super slick and it could help you slide out potential nosedives. And I do like that it protects my bumpers with the curved ends front to back. Couple things to note, it's not compatible with the Future Motion Pint rail guards. It is compatible with the Float Life Sidekicks. Thanks for watching. Like in all my videos, my goal is to entertain, educate, and encourage. If you found something helpful in this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. Wait, are you still watching? then that must mean you're a fan of the channel, just like Marco here, a special education teacher in Virginia. I'm gonna highlight my fans in the community on my channel. If you have a YouTube channel, or an Instagram channel, or anything, and you want me to highlight it in one of my future videos, leave a comment below telling me about yourself and including the hashtag ChangGang, so you can be a part of my tribe. As always, thanks for watching, and always wear your safety gear.